Today's recipe is venison salami. Man, this is going to be some good stuff. So first thing is, well, you probably got to go with deer hunt or know somebody that deer hunts. This is about two pounds of venison and I'll let you in on a little secret that um, I cut mine with pork fat. So it's about 80-20 pork fat because um, venison is so lean. But you don't have to do that. If you want a real lean meat, you can just stick with venison and you'll have no fat. But it does come out a little, uh, well, we'll say people aren't used to it. So uh, pork fat makes it a little better in my mind and uh, tastes great. So the seasoning we're going to be adding is whole black peppercorn. It is one tablespoon plus a teaspoon of ground pepper, about half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, um, half a teaspoon of mustard seed, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, um, whole garlic really looks better, and then, you know, cut up, but it's late, so there's garlic powder. Also, onion powder, half a teaspoon, and two tablespoons of curing salt. Um, any kind of curing salt you like. Some people like to just use kosher salt. I think that's fine. So, that's all the seasoning. Really not too much to it. And we're going to combine that now with the venison and gonna get that ready to go in the fridge. It's got to sit in the fridge overnight. So, a little bit of a process, but it's not too bad. And some great salami when we're done. So now it's all mixed up and it's ready to be made into logs. So we're going to make it into logs next and wrap it in tin foil. So you'll be able to see that. Um, I wish everybody could smell this. You wouldn't believe how this smells. It smells like a deli in here. It's uh, appetizing right now. Maybe not to look at, but man, it smells good. A uh, little tips, we like seasoning, we like a lot of seasoning, so where it says a tablespoon, we probably use a tablespoon and a pinch, and where it says maybe half a teaspoon or half, uh, we might go whole, we might go just a little bit more, so we like seasoning and you can figure out your own taste. Also if you uh, don't know where to get pork fat to cut with your venison, you could use bacon. Bacon has a lot of fat content. You know. You know, half frozen, put it through your meat grinder, and add it to your venison. Um, just stay away from the maple fat, uh, maple bacon. But you know what? Maybe even try it. Maybe that's some good stuff. I don't know. But we use this plain old bacon, and we will cut that with venison sometimes. So there it is. Venison salami. So, so far, we got our ingredients and mixed it all together. Now, if you know how to play with Play-Doh, you know how to make these salami logs. Really not that hard. Put them down, roll them around. It's kind of funny because you want the kids do them. So there it is. Now we're going to tightly wrap it and we're going to put it in the fridge overnight. So a little bit of waiting, but I think it makes it taste better too when you wait a little longer. That's what it looks like wrapped up. Now you're going to wrap these almost to the point of splitting the foil. It's got to be tight. So as tight as you could go without tearing that foil and they're ready for the fridge. The salami's been in the fridge all night and now we're getting ready to put it in a hot water bath. So our salami here has been in the pot now over an hour. Um, if you're making like a big fat salami that you're just gonna use for deli meat, probably like two pounds or so, probably go about an hour and a half, an hour and 20 minutes. This is probably about an hour and 10 minutes, so you can see all the juices coming out of there. And it's just about ready to go. So we're gonna remove this from the pot and then we're gonna take it out of the foil. And then we have to rewrap it with fresh foil and get it back in the fridge. So I'll 
show you what that looks like. It's all nicely done. Now we're going to rewrap that, get it back in the fridge before we cut it cold. Because remember, cold cuts. Cut it cold. So the reason why we rewrap it is you have to get all that water out of the old foil. So now it's rewrapped and it's going back in the fridge before we cut it. So you can see we have about maybe like a sandwich size. We have some snack sizes. But you can make one huge one and just use that for lunch meat and snacks if you want. But we've got a few different sizes here. Maybe next time we'll make a huge one. Venison salami. That smells great. That's gonna be a good sandwich.